밥을래 그냥? 
So we're making a big profit. Okay? So the stock price goes up. The ownership goes up. I sell it to another person. I make profit. Okay? Or just we take the profits and pay to ourselves as dividends. Do you think that's a good idea? Joint stock corporation? <coughs> Is that a good idea? Yes? Is that going to help the country to develop? Yes, it helps the country to develop. Okay? In the capitalist system. It, so these days, most companies are joint stock. Corporations are the biggest ones in the world. If you think of Coca-Cola or Microsoft, okay, they're all joint stock corporations. You can buy the stock public. Anybody can buy the stock in that company. Right? Apple, Procter & Gamble, most of the big, world's biggest corporations are joint stock corporations. Anybody can buy a part of the company. Do you want to own a part of Coca-Cola? Hmm? You can have a lot of people working under you, 50,000 people working under you at Coca-Cola. You're the owner. You haven't thought about it? Right? But anyway, you would just own a small part of Coca-Cola, right? There would be a lot of other owners. So this is kind of a problem. We have a lot of people who own a small part of the company. Okay? Then, is it easy to control the managers? Not really. Okay? If, we have, if I'm an owner in a private firm, I can easily control the manager. Right? Watch the manager and see if the manager is doing a good job. Are you go if you own one stock in Coca-Cola, are you going to supervise the managers? <coughs> if you own just one stock in Coca-Cola, just $10, are you going to spend your time supervising the managers in Coca-Cola? No, right? You're just going to leave your stock and not supervise the manager. You'll pay some, a point we'll talk about later, board of directors to do that. But Anyway, we don't have direct control over the manager. So there's some problem here. With a private company, if the manager does a very bad job, right, I lose not just the money I invest in the company, but also my private money, like my house. Okay? So uh, my company does very badly, it fails, I owe a lot of money to people. I have to use my own private money. I have to sell my house to pay for the debts. Okay? But this was a problem for the joint stock corporation. Because I don't control the manager, maybe I don't want to invest. Because I don't want to have to sell my house later if we lose the money. So they made this law called Limited Liability Law. It's a special law for joint stock corporations to encourage people to put their money together. So if a company fails, the owners do not have to pay any money from their private holdings to repay the creditor. So if Coca-Cola fails, you just lose $10. Okay? You just lose your stock, nothing else. You don't have to pay any of your private money. Okay? So then people didn't feel bad about investing in joint stock corporations, and they invest a lot of money in the joint stock corporations. Uh, corporation. <clears throat> so there are some disadvantages of the joint stock corporation against the private company. We have a low control for the owners. It has to make more information available to the public. So a private company doesn't have to make all of their information public. Okay? But joint stock company is also called public company. Okay? It's owned by the public. Do you understand the word public? <coughs> How do you say the word public in Korean? Hmm? Gong gong? Gong yong? Hmm? So the public own the company, so we have to make all the information public so people can decide whether they should invest in the company or not. Okay? So you're going to decide whether to invest in Coca-Cola or not. So you have to see all of the information. But this is a disadvantage because the competitor can also see all of the information about the joint stock company. For the private company, 
you don't have to let the competitor see your information. Also, there is the transaction cost. Transaction is buying and selling. So transaction cost is a cost occurred in making an economic exchange. For example, commission for investment bankers. Okay? And the legal cost when we sell our stock for the first time, called an IPO. Uh, can you do, two guys do me a favor? Can you move this over there? So maybe some students can do that. Just, you can move into the corner. Thank you. Just two, two. Wow. Don't hurt your back or consume me, right? I asked to do it with two people. Okay. So. Do you work out? Do you go to the gym? Do you work out? Yeah. Yeah? How often? Well, uh, twice for a week. Twice a week? Yeah. Oh, okay. Came in useful in the end, right? So, then let's talk about how people, how companies get money, right? How do they get money? There's two main ways to get money. The first one is debt, and the second one is equity. So there's a difference between debt and equity. Debt has a fixed claim. It means that uh, the amount of money that we're going to get is fixed. It doesn't change, right? It is tax deductible. Uh, we'll talk about more later. Deductible means uh, we can re subtract or take away. From, we don't have to pay as much tax. If the company fails, has financial trouble, we have to pay back the holders of debt first. Okay? So it has a high priority. Fixed maturity means it has the fixed time. I lend you money for one year, for two years. And no management control. So I lend money to you, I don't have any control. Okay? Just you, I lend you the money, and you just do what you want with the money. Okay? Equity, uh, the claim can be different. We can have higher profits or losses. We don't get any tax uh, advantage from paying dividends. Uh, if there's any financial problem, it's the last thing to get paid. Uh, so we might not get any money back if the company fails. Okay, here we can get money back if the company fails. If the company owns a building or land, the company sells its building and land and pays back its loans first. Okay, then if there's any money left after this, then the owners, the stockholders, get money. Okay, so they're the low low priority. Uh, it's infinite. I give you a loan for two years, but I buy a stock in a company. It lasts forever until the company finishes, right? So we have some very long-lasting companies like Disney or Coca-Cola, McDonald's. They've been around for 100 years, right? So you bought a stock in Disney 100 years ago. You still have the same stock, okay? Still own the stock. You control, you can control, at least in theory, you can control the company, you're the owner. So we're going to look at some different types. Types of debt, bank debt, lease and bonds are the three main types of debt. So the easiest one to understand is bank debt. Right? Debt shell. Okay, get a loan from the bank. Private companies mainly use bank debt for their borrowing. Okay? Why? Banks can offer individualized and flexible loans. Okay, so I want a loan from the bank. I can say I want this amount exactly. Okay, and this time. They can make the loan exactly for me. They can also open a line of credit. Okay, do you understand credit? Do you have a credit card? Hmm? So credit means it's an agreement in which the borrower receives something of value now and agrees to repay the lender at some date in the future, generally with interest. So if you use your credit card, you buy something now, something of value, but you're not going to pay until the end of the month or the end of the year. 
Okay? Maybe you have to pay some interest. So firms can also get credit from the bank. So that means they only use the loan when they need it. Okay? They buy something now using credit, okay? and they pay back the bank later. And they only use the credit that they need, exactly. So that's the advantage of bank debt. Okay? So we can get a loan from the bank. Another type of debt is a lease. In Korea, a lot of people use a lease for their apartment. Okay? They pay ILOC or EOC to the owner of the house, and then they can use the house for two years, right? That's a leasing. Okay? So leasing is not owning. I don't buy the apartment, I'm just leasing the apartment for two years. So we can do the same with buildings, machinery, or equipment. So many small businesses, they instead of buying the building, they lease the building. Okay? Like a restaurant or cafe or bar. Okay? They just like the apartment, they just lease. Okay? One of the main advantages of leasing over buying is flexibility. So for example, we have a company and uh, we make, we are delivering pizzas. So we buy three cars for delivering pizzas, right? But well, next year, the business is bad, okay? We only need one car. What are we going to do? We have to try and sell the other cars. Maybe we don't get a good price, or we can't sell them, so we have to keep them, okay? What about if we lease? We lease three cars the first year for one year lease. Next year we just need one car. What are we going to do? Just cancel two. Just cancel two of the leases. Okay? Can you understand this one gives more flexibility? Do you want, how do you say flexibility in Korean? Okay. Most, do you do Taekwondo? If you do Taekwondo, you should be flexible, right? So we have flexibility also for the business. Another advantage of leasing is free servicing. Okay, what happens if something happens to the car? Car breaks down, I have to pay everything, right? But maybe if I lease the car, I might do a service agreement. There's a problem with the car. The owners of the car have to pay for the problem, okay, to fix the car or like the photocopier or printer, or even some companies, they lease computers, right? There's a problem with the computer, I don't have to pay for the repair, okay? The owner will come and pay for the repair. So these are the advantages of leasing. So companies also use leasing. And then bonds is generally used by large companies and joint stock companies because we can get a cheaper interest rate than the bank, going to the bank. Okay? So for example, for the railroad, they also sold bonds to the public investor. So bond is different from stock. So a bond is a commitment to do something. Just generally, people say, your word is your bond. Okay? <coughs> bond is like stuck together. So if I have make a bond, it means I say I'm going to do something. For sure, okay? In this case, it, we're talking about paying back money. Paying back money. So I promise I'll pay you back the money. So when a company issues, we use the word issue for bond. Issue means makes and sell. Makes a bond and sells it. It gives an investor a piece of paper which says, I owe you. Okay? So I'm going to pay you back. Okay? If I give you a paper, that says, I will pay you $100 next year. How much will you pay me for this paper? I give you a paper. I will pay you $100 next year. Signed, Chris. Give you the paper. How much will you pay me for the paper today? Do you trust me? Yes, then how much will you pay for the paper? I'll pay you $100 next year. How much will you pay me now for that piece of paper? 
110 dollars? Yes, 110? Okay. I'll give you 100 back next year. Is it going to be more than 100 or less than 100? Less. Less than 100. So how much? You have to think about inflation, right? You have to think about the risk. I don't pay you back. So what do you think is a fair price? 80. 80, you don't trust me very much? <laughs> 90, you trust me more? Right? So this is what actually happens when a company sells a bond, they have an auction. Do you understand the auction? Gyeong Mei? And they have this paper which says they will pay one million, usually one million dollars or ten million dollars, a lot of money. And the people put up their hands. I'll pay 90% of the price, right? 95% of the price. Okay? So it's a direct way of companies getting money from the public instead of going through the banks. Okay? They still use the investment bank to help them. So the key point of the bond is the time. How long is the bond for? So if I told you the bond is for one year, or two years, or three years, of course it's going to change the price. Okay? How about if I say I'll, I'll give you a piece of paper which pays you $100 in 20 years? How much will you pay me for that today? I'll pay you back $100 in 20 years. How much will you pay me for that today? $10? $20? Hmm? $1? Nothing? $20? OK, so the time is important. Also, we can have a coupon. A coupon means I can pay you some money every year, interest every year. So normally, companies sell the bond with a coupon. Okay, it could be 2% or 3% or 4%. So I can give you a $100 bond okay, with the 5% coupon. Okay? Let's say for 10 years. So every year, how much are you going to get every year? $5, $5 right? You will get $5 at the end of every year. Okay, and you will get $100 back in 10 years. Okay, so now how much are you going to pay me? For this one. I'll pay you $5 every year and I'll give you your $100 back after 10 years. How much will you pay me for this bond? Anybody? More than 100 Depends on inflation, right? If inflation is 5% a year, you should be losing money. It depends on inflation and risk. But you might give me $100, right? Because I'm paying you the interest every year. It's like a saving account in the bank, right? You put $100 in the bank, the bank pays you 5% every year. Okay? Similar to that kind of thing. So that's why people like bonds, right? They, it's like a savings account. If you sell a bond to Coca-Cola, do you trust Coca-Cola will pay you back in 10 years? How much percent do you trust Coca-Cola? 100%? 50%? 100%, right? Coca-Cola is unlikely to be bankrupt in the next 10 years. The only way you can lose your money is if Coca-Cola is bankrupt. Okay? So investors like to lend the money to the big company because they can get a higher interest rate than depositing in the bank. Let's say Coca-Cola pays 5%, but in the bank you just get 2%, right? And Coca-Cola likes lending, getting money from investors because it's also better than the bank. If Coca-Cola goes to the bank, it's going to be 6% to get a loan. But they can get a loan from you for 5%, okay? So bond is like cutting out the bank in the middle, okay? <coughs> So issu issuing bonds is only practical for firms above a certain size. So a small private company can't issue bonds to the public, right? Why? First of all, we have to pay to get our firm rated by a rating agency. So the rating agency tells us about the default risk of the company, okay? So default risk means the risk of not paying back the debt in full, okay? Do you understand this risk? 
So the risk that Coca-Cola will not pay back the debt. So a rating agency is going to give their opinion about whether Coca-Cola can pay back the money or not. Okay? And we have to pay money to the rating agency to come to our company and give us a rating on our default risk. So that costs money. So only the big companies will do that, first of all. What else costs money? We have to pay a fee to the investment bank. An investment bank is a financial institution that helps individuals, corporations and governments in raising funds. We talked about raising funds in the last class. It means getting money. Okay? But raising fund is what we use in, in financial vocabulary. So investment bank is going to help us to sell the bond. It's going to organize the auction, organize the gyeongmae, invite the people to the auction. Okay? So clearly we have to pay a fee to the investment bank. So if we just have, need a small amount of money, it's not worth to get the investment bank to sell the bond. So just if we're a big company, we do those kind of things. So do you have any questions about debt, debt, types of debt? Okay, then let's talk about the type of equity. Owner's equity, private equity, common stock, and internal equity. So do you know Bill Gates? So Bill Gates was the owner of Microsoft at the start. So he used his own money, or his daddy's money, family's money, right? the owner equity. So most firms start off with owner's equity. They, the bank is not going to give you a 100% loan. You go into the bank and say, I want to start a restaurant, give me a 100% loan. What's the bank going to say? No, why? Because the bank can't trust them. I trust you. Hmm? The bank can't trust them. Maybe they can't trust you, they don't know you, right? But one reason is you're not prepared to put up your own money. So if you lose, just you lose the bank's money, right? You don't lose any of your own money. So the bank wants to see that you have your own money, right? Maybe at least 30%, 40% is going to be your own money. And then they'll give you some loan on top of that, okay? So this is called owner's equity. You have your own money to start the business. So this almost... This happens with almost all companies. Even big companies like Microsoft, they started off at some stage, Bill Gates used his own money, okay? So the person, individual puts their personal savings into the business to get it started, get it off the ground, we say in English. So most small businesses are funded with owner's equity, like for example, a small restaurant or a laundry store, right? They have just owner's equity. Private equity investor <laughs> provides money to firms in return for a share of the ownership of the firm. This is also called venture capital. So uh, this is when you're starting to grow your firm. So it's a big step for the company to go from owner's equity to private equity. Okay, you have a good idea. You're using your own money, right? The bank is not going to give you a big loan, so you need to find more equity. So you go and try to find like other investors or venture capitalists. So this is big in the US. For example, in California, they have some coffee morning where young people with ideas, you understand ideas? Meet a venture capitalist. And they tell the venture capitalist their idea. And the venture capitalist says, oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to give you some money and you give me some ownership of your company. So for example, Facebook, do you know Facebook? First they use the owner's equity. Then Mark Zuckerberg goes out and meets some venture capitalists. He tells them, look, I already have, uh, let's say, 100,000 customers using Facebook in New York or Boston, okay? I think this is a very good idea. Will you give me some money? And they, they look at him and they say, yes, we think that's a good idea and you're a good worker. So we'll, we'll give you some money, but you have to give me 20% of your company. And then he says, no, no, 10%. And they say, no, 15%. <coughs> then they make a deal, right? 
Now they own 15% of Facebook. Okay, and then they're very lucky because when Facebook sells later, they can sell their 15% ownership to the public and make a big profit. Okay? So, for example, do you know Bono from U2? U2 is a music group from Ireland. Bono is just a very rich uh, musician. So he invested in Facebook as a private equity. Okay? And other wealthy people, usually venture capitalists, they invest in a lot of, a lot of companies with good ideas like 20 or 30 or 40. And they hope that at least one or two of these companies makes it big. Okay? And then they can make big money. Okay? But a lot of the company will fail that they invest in. That's why they invest in a lot of different companies. But this is hard because you need to convince, <laughs> most small companies don't get to this stage, because you need to convince these guys, venture capitalists, to give you their money. Okay? That's not an easy thing to do. You need to have a very good idea and good team, very good team and a good company. <clears throat> then we move on to common stock. So if we look at Facebook, owner's equity, then venture capitalists. Venture capitalists also help Facebook with marketing and connections, right? Bono was a famous musician, so he had a lot of connection. He introduced to Facebook. All the famous musicians start to use Facebook, right? So he wasn't just helping them with money, he's also helping them with his skill or marketing or networking. Okay? Then Facebook gets very big. So they decide they want more money, more equity. So we go back to the railroad. Okay? They want to sell to the public, sell their stock to the public. Okay? So once a firm is significantly large, very big, and it needs more money to get bigger, it offers a part ownership to the general public. Okay? When it originally offers its stock for sale, it has an IPO, initial public offering. And then the people who buy the stock in the IPO resell the stock that we would know like the stock exchange. For example, the London Stock Exchange. Okay? People buy and sell the stock. So you can buy the Facebook stock now if you want. Okay? You need to talk to the stockbroker in Korea and they can organize and buy the stock. And then finally we have internal equity. Internal equity is retained earnings. So the company makes a profit. It doesn't pay back the profit <coughs> to the owners. It invests in the company again. That's a way to get money. Okay? We use our profits called retained earnings. Earnings like profit. Retained means keeping. Keeping. Okay? So we keep the profits that we made last year and we invest for a new project this year. That is the uh, most popular way for managers to fund an investment because we have minimum transaction cost. We don't have to pay the fee to the investment bank. We don't have to do the IPO or bonds and we have no loss of control. We keep all the control inside the company. If we sell our stock to the public we lose some control. So, keep retained earnings or keeping our profit is the most popular way to get money for managers. So, do you have any question about equity? Is it, yes? Is it common stock the same as joint stock corporation? The joint co stock corporation is the name of the company, the firm. Oh, so it's one of the company type, and this is the... Yes, so private company or joint stock corporation, right? Public company. Oh. And then, if you want to own part of the public company, you buy stock. Okay, common stock. Okay, so discuss with your partner then, um, what are the different types of debt and equity? So discuss about the different types of debt and different types of equities. Oh, 
사이에 천재로 보면 아니야 집 그래 집은 있잖아 그 운영권 운영 집은 있는 거야 오늘 이거 그냥 그 은행에서 조금 빌려주는 거랑 세린의 개인의 그렇게 하는 거면 진짜 프라이빗이 내가 너가 만약에 내가 집이 있자 내가 너를 찾아갔어 내가 정말 이렇게 좋은 아이디어 가있는데 진짜 맞고 싶다 그러면 이런 사람 모르겠어 그러니까 개인적으로 해서 네가 그러면 나한테 이 회사를 만드는데 지금 20%를 달라 내가 그럼 좋다 하면 너한테 지금 20%를 주고 돈을 주자고 하는 거야 그럼 그냥 퍼버스톤 그냥 상장 해가지고 어 상장을 해서 인터넷 리컬렉팅 그거 상장을 하지 않고 이게 회사 운영하잖아 그 나온 수익금 그거를 그대로 두자 So then let's uh, move on to talk about some costs and benefits of debt. So the advantage and disadvantages of debt compared to equity. So ben first benefit of debt is tax benefit, and second one is discipline for management. So let's talk about the benefits of debt. So when you borrow money, you are allowed to deduct the interest expense from your income to arrive at a taxable income. So the tax benefit each year is the tax rate multiplied by the interest payment. So in the last class, we talked about revenues and costs and operating income. So uh, the income statement, we have revenues, sales, right? We have costs. What it costs us to make the sale, and then we have operating income. Okay. Then after this operating income, we have minus interest. Okay. Let's say our interest payment was ten. Okay, and then we have minus taxes, and then we have profit. So the key point here. Or net net income, right? So the key point here is that interest is before taxes. Okay? So if we if our tax rate is 30%, let's say our taxes is 30%. If we calculate the tax before interest, what's 30% of 30? It's 9. It would be $9, right? What about if we calculate after interest? It's going to be 30 minus 10 is 20. 30% 30 of 20 is 6. So our tax saving here, by calculating the tax after interest, is 3. That's our tax saving. Okay? And we can do this by this equation. Tax rate multiplied by interest payment. Okay? So tax rate is 30%. Interest payment is 10. Okay, what's 30% of 10? It's $3. $3. Okay, can you see that? So the tax benefit of our interest payment here was $3. Okay? Now, if we have debt, or sorry, dividends, we pay our dividends from our profits. So there's no tax saving from dividends. Okay? We have to pay our dividends to our stockholder after the profit. So if we use equity, we don't get the tax saving from the dividends. But if we use debt, we get the tax saving from interest. Okay? Can everybody see the tax saving from interest? 
Here, the income is 30. Tax on 30 is 9. Okay? After we take away our interest payment, it's 6. Okay? So our tax saving was 3. We can get that a simpler way by multiplying the tax rate by the interest payment. That tells us how much we save on uh, tax. Okay? So other things being equal, the higher the tax rate of a business, the more debt it will have. Okay? So we said for the financing decision, the company has to decide, should I use more debt or more equity? If I have a very high tax rate, Maybe I'll use more debt. Okay, let's say our tax rate is 50%. Then we make a tax saving of $5, not $3. Right? If the tax rate is 10%, we just make a tax saving of $1. Okay? So the companies who has a higher tax rate or pays a higher tax rate uh, may use more debt. Right? Different countries have different tax rates and companies have different tax ways of uh, paying their tax. <clears throat> so let's have a look at this question before we finish. So you are comparing the debt ratios of real estate corporations which pay the corporate tax rate uh, and real estate investment trusts which are not taxed but are required to pay 95% of their profits as dividends to the stockholders. Which of these two grow groups would you expect to have the higher debt ratio? So the first one is a real estate corporation which pays the corporate tax rate. Corporate tax rate is about 35% in the US. Or real estate investment trusts which are not paying any tax, zero tax. Okay? Which one is, is going to have a higher debt? So discuss with your partner. One pays 35% tax, the other one pays no tax. Which one will have, will use debt more? raise your hand either for A or B or C, okay? So hands up, who thinks A, the real estate, is, has more debt? Who thinks B? Okay, that's, who thinks C? That's not everybody. You have to put up your hand for one answer, okay? Choose A, B or C. The real estate corporations, they pay 35% tax. The real estate investment trust don't pay any tax. So you have to think about who is going to get more tax benefit from debt, okay? The one who pays tax or the one who doesn't pay tax, okay? Then who is more likely to use debt? The one who pays tax or the one who doesn't pay tax, okay? So let's start again. So hands up, who thinks A? I can only see four hands. Who thinks B? And who thinks C? So why do you think B? They're not paying any tax. Why are they going to use debt? So A, if we have a profit of ten dollars, they are going to make. They pay thirty-five percent tax. They make this savings. Right? B, they make this savings by using debt. Do you understand? If we use debt then we have to pay interest, okay? If we pay interest, company A of 10, company A pays tax. 
so they get this tax advantage, right? Company B doesn't pay any tax, so they get this tax advantage. Who's getting a higher tax advantage, company A or company B? A. Company A is getting a higher tax advantage. Company B has zero, okay? Then let's try the question again. So who thinks A? Hands up for, who thinks A? The answer is A are going to use more debt. Who thinks B? So you need to put up your hand for A or B. We can see here clearly A gets more tax advantage, okay? Do you understand tax advantage? How do you say advantage in Korean? Hmm? Iik is profit. What's advantage? Ijo? Hmm? Yes, so tax. Company A gets a tax, say, gum ijo. Company B, no advantage. Okay? Debt gives us a ta tax advantage. Okay? So let's try again. Who is going to use more debt? A, or A? Hands up who thinks A? Hands up who thinks B? Okay, at least this time just one person put their hand up for B. Okay? So clearly company A gets the tax advantage from debt. So company A is going to use more debt. Okay? Correct answer is A. So if we have a higher tax rate, we're going to have more debt because we get the tax advantage, okay? If we don't have any to pay any tax, we get no tax advantage, so we would have less debt. Okay, debt gives tax advantage. So then let's finish there for today. So for homework, please check about the tax advantage of debt, okay? So don't forget to sign your name, and then also, um, you need to buy the book for this course, okay? Because the book has, is laid out. I wrote a book especially for this course, which has the questions and the financial management explained in a more simple way. So you need to buy the book. So you can either give me man one today, I will check your name, 10,000 won, okay? Or else you can go to the secretary's office before Friday. Or you can give me the money on Friday, okay? Then on Friday, I'm going to go to the Chong Moon and I'm going to print out the books. So if you bring me the money next week, it's too late. Do you understand?